welcome back dear students today we will solve some examples from exercise 2.4 uh, which, which are based on the increasing and decreasing functions so let us begin the first problem test whether the following functions are increasing or decreasing the given function is f of x is equal to x cube minus 6x square plus 12x minus 16 x belongs to r so we have to take this first function and differentiating with respect to x the derivative of x cube is 3x square minus 6x square its derivative is minus 12x and derivative of 12x is 12. now we can take 3 common we get x square minus 4x plus 4 but it is a perfect square so we can write x minus 2 bracket square now for any real number this x minus 2 bracket square is always greater than 0 okay and it equals to 0 when x is equal to 2 so for every x belongs to r this f dash of x is always greater than or equal to 0 and hence the function is increasing for all x belongs to r the second example f of x is 2 minus 3x plus 3x square minus x cube and x belongs to r so what is f of x f of x is 2 minus 3x plus 3x square minus x cube so let us differentiate in this function with respect to x the flash of x is minus 3 plus 6x minus 3x square therefore the flash of x is equal to minus 3 common in bracket x square minus 2x plus 1 again it is a perfect square this x minus 1 bracket square also for every real number x this x minus 1 bracket square is always greater than 0 so this is a positive quantity and that positive quantity we are multiplying a negative quantity so the product becomes negative so f dash of x is less than 0 but when x is equal to 1 it becomes 0 so f dash of x is less than or equal to 0 for all x belongs to r hence the function is a decreasing function for all x belongs to r next example is this f of x is equal to x minus 1 upon x and x belongs to the set of all real numbers and x is not equal to 0 so take the function and differentiate with respect to x the derivative of x is 1 uh, minus derivative of 1 upon x is minus 1 upon x square so minus minus becomes plus now square of any real number is always positive so x square is a positive quantity so 1 upon x square is again a positive quantity and if we add two positive quantities we get a positive quantity so for every x belongs to r this factor is always greater than zero okay and x is non-zero so this x this is well defined f dash of x is greater than zero for all x belongs to r that means the function is well defined and it is strictly increasing function okay this function is a strictly increasing function let us see the graph of this function okay so this is the graph of the function y is equal to x minus one upon x now here you can see that it is a strictly increasing function if you draw the tangent to this curve if the slope of the tangent is always positive is always greater than zero so the function is strictly increasing so the next example is find the values of x for which the following function is strictly increasing the function is f of x is equal to 2x cube minus 3x square minus 12x plus 6 okay so check the function and uh, differentiate with respect to x what you get 6x square minus 6x minus 12 this, this is the derivative of this function okay now here each of the coefficient is a multiple of 6 so we can take its outside okay now what is the remaining x square minus x minus 2 now it is not a perfect square so we have to factorize it the factors are x minus 2 and x plus 1 
Now we want to find the values of x for which the function is strictly increasing. Function should be increasing. And function is increasing, that means its a derivative, its a first order derivative must be greater than zero. Okay. First must be greater than zero. So what is the greater than zero? Six times x minus two into x plus one must be greater than zero. That is x minus two into x plus one is greater than zero. Now, the product of two numbers is greater than zero. When it will happen if the first number is greater than zero, the second number is greater than zero, or there is one more case. First number is less than zero and second number is also less than zero. So that their product is positive. So x minus two is greater than zero. It gives x is greater than two x plus 1 is greater than 0 gives x is greater than minus 1 x minus 2 less than 0 gives x less than 2 and x plus 1 is less than 0 gives x is less than minus 1 now i will show you on by drawing this uh, region how to identify the particular region so this is the our real line uh, I will draw it by this uh, color. This is our real line. Uh, suppose uh, the origin is at uh, here. I am drawing it for, I am showing the region for this first inequality. Okay. So here there is minus 1 and here there is 2. Now let us decide the region for x is greater than my 2 x is greater than 2 that means x must to be this side of 2 so x lies in this part for this now at the same time when x is greater than minus 1 what is x x is greater than minus 1 here is x minus 1 and x is greater than this so x lies in this region okay so there is and so we must have all those x we must find those x which will satisfy the first inequality as well as the second inequality if we see this figure what are those common points then so the common points lies in this part only okay so what is the solution set then the solution set is x is greater than 2 this is the solution set from the first case okay now now what we will do we have to think of this second case okay now for second case, well, let us uh, draw another figure. Okay, this is the real line. Here there is uh, 0, here there is minus 1 and here it is 2. And we are now, now we are thinking of this part, this second part. What it tells? Now it tells us the x is less than 2. How is x? x is less than 2. So x lies in this part. Okay. And at the same time, the other part tells us that uh, our x, our x must be less than, must be less than minus 1 x must be less than minus 1 so here it is minus 1 and x must be less than that again uh, you can think of the common solution common part so you can write it as the all those x which are less than minus 1 so by this way you can uh, clarify or you can decide the which part of the solution set we must take so from this first part we get x is greater than 2 and from the second part we get x is less than minus 1 
so f is strictly increasing whenever x is less than minus 1 or x is greater than 2 in both the cases our function is strictly increasing function okay now the next example is uh, find the values of x for which the following function is strictly increasing take the function differentiate with respect to x what is the derivative derivative of 3 is 0 derivative of 3x is 3 derivative of minus 3x square it is uh, minus 6x and derivative of x cube is 3x square so we can take 3 common x square minus 20 uh, minus 3 times x square minus 2x plus 1 so it is a perfect square so x minus 1 bracket square now for every x belongs to r the square is always positive so the 3 times x minus 1 bracket square is always positive and it is equal to 0 when x takes the value x is equal to 1 so in either case f dash of x is greater than or equal to 0 for every real number and hence the function is increasing function for x belongs to r if I want to say strictly increasing then I have to remove 1 from the set so f is strictly increasing for x belongs to r and r minus singleton 1 if I include this one it becomes 0 and I have to write f of dash of x is greater than or equal to 0 now find the values of x for which the following functions are strictly increasing f of x is given so what we will do with the given function f of x differentiate with respect to x we can take 3 common x square minus 4x minus 12 factorized it the factors are x minus 6 x plus 2 now we want to find the x for which uh, function is strictly increasing so we must have f dash of x is strictly greater than 0 okay this is for strictly increasing so this must be happen now 3 is a positive we can divide throughout so x minus 6 into x plus 6 x plus 2 is greater than 0 so product of the two numbers is greater than 0 from this i can conclude that the first factor is greater than 0 second factor is greater than 0 or it may possible that the first factor is less than 0 and second factor also less than 0 so if we uh, conclude these from these two uh, equations so i can write either x is greater than 6 or x is greater than minus 2 or x less than 6 and x less than minus 2 now no need to draw any uh, drawings okay i can uh, directly say that here x how is the x x is greater than 6 and what this tells x is greater than minus 2 so we have to think of the both the inequalities together and then i will uh, realize that if i choose x is greater than 6 all the numbers which are greater than 6 are greater than minus 2 also okay so from this i will choose x is greater than 6 now in this second case x is less than 6 and x is also less than minus 2 so the numbers which are less than minus 2 definitely they are less than 6 so the solution of this set is x less than minus 2 okay so what you get the f function f is strictly increasing whenever x less than minus 2 or x is greater than 6 if you choose x beyond 6 function is strictly increasing and if you take x below minus 2 then also function is strictly increasing the next example is find the values of x for which the following function are strictly increasing you have to think of strictly increasing take the given function differentiate with respect to x okay now strictly increase strictly decreasing function so f dash of x must be strictly less than 0 so that is 1 minus 25 by x square must be less than 0 okay 
Now, as the function is defined, so x must be non-zero. So one uh, one minus twenty one is less than twenty-five by x square. So x square is less than twenty-five. Now square of the number lies is uh, less than twenty-five. Okay. If from this we can conclude that x must lies between minus five to plus five. Okay. If you take any number my, from minus five to plus five, it's a square. Always less than twenty-five. Okay, <coughs> so we can conclude that minus five is less than x is less than five. So f is strictly decreasing when two less than x less than four. If it's strictly decreasing for minus five to plus five, the next example is two x cube minus three x square minus twelve x plus six. Uh, we have to find uh, the values of x for which it is strictly decreasing. So firstly, we will take the derivative function and its derivative. Now we can take six common six times x square minus x minus two. So f dash of x is a six times x minus two into x plus one. Now for strictly decreasing, the f dash of x must be less than zero. So this factor six into x minus two x plus one must be less than zero. That is, x minus two into x plus one must be less than zero. Now the product of the two factors is less than zero. So for, from this, I can conclude that x minus two is less than zero. X plus one is greater than zero. This is one case. Or x minus two is greater than zero and x plus one is less than one, less than zero. This is the second case. Okay, so if we go together uh, from this first case, I will get x is less than two and x is greater than minus one. Or the second case tells us that x is greater than two and x is less than minus one. Uh, but this is not possible. Uh, we don't have a real number which is uh, greater than two and at the same time which is less than minus one also. So this is uh, something absurd. So uh, this is wrong. So this we, this will not have any common solution. Okay. So the common solution will lies for in this for this two only. X less than two and x is greater than minus one. That means minus one is less than x and x is less than two. So this is the interval. This is the interval in which this given function is strictly decreasing function. Now moving further, let us see some next example. f of x is equal to x cube minus nine x square plus twenty four x plus twelve. This is the function. So differentiating with respect to x, f dash of x is three x square minus eighteen x plus twenty four. Now here also we can take three common and then factorize this polynomial x square minus six x plus eight. Its factors are x minus four, x minus two. Now how to factorize that you have learned from uh, Eight standard eight nine tenth in eleventh also so x minus four into x minus two. Now we want uh, the values of x for which the function is strictly decreasing. For decreasing, f dash of x is less than zero. So three times x minus four x minus two less than zero. So three is a positive number. So x minus four into x minus two must be less than zero. From this we conclude that x minus four is less than zero and x minus two is greater than zero. So one is positive, one is negative. Product is negative. Again, one is negative, other is positive. The product is negative. So x is less than four, and x is greater than two. And the next case is x is greater than four, and x is less than two. Here, uh, we don't get a real number. Here, yeah, we will not get any real number which is uh, greater than four, which is greater than four, and at the same time it is less than two. Which is not possible. So only possible case is x is less than four and x is greater than two. So the numbers which are greater than two and less than four. So they are lies between two to four. They are lies between two to four, and hence uh, the function is strictly decreasing only in between two to four. Now the next example find the values of x for which the function f of x is equal to x cube minus uh, 
12 x square minus 144 x plus 13. Either it is increasing or decreasing. We don't know anything. We have to decide. So take the function, differentiate with respect to x. What you get? The derivative is 3x square minus 24x plus minus 144. Take 3 common, you get x square minus 8x plus minus 48. Now we can factorize this uh, quadratic polynomial x minus 12 into x plus 4. These are the two factors. Now we have to think of the increasing and decreasing. So let us start for increasing function. When we say that the function is increasing, if its derivative is greater than or equal to 0. That is 3 times x minus 12 into x plus 4 is greater than or equal to 0. So the product is greater than or equal to 0. Now, uh, this product is greater than or equal to 0 means uh, the x minus 12 is greater than or equal to 0 or x plus 4 is greater than or equal to 0 or x minus 12 is less than or equal to 0 and x plus 4 is less than or equal to 0. First case gives x is greater than or equal to 12 and x is greater than or equal to minus 4. So from this I can conclude uh, I want x which is larger than 12 and at the same time larger than 4. So it, we must have the x is larger than 12. Okay. And what is the second case tells us that? We want a x which is less than 12 and at the same time which is less than minus 4. So we conclude x must be less than minus 4. So we get the two values x is greater than 12 and x is less than minus 4. In these cases the function is strictly increasing. Now let us think of the, when the function is decreasing, when the function will be decreasing. For decreasing, the derivative must be less than or equal to 0. So again, we will go through the both the cases. We get x is greater than or equal to 12 and x is less than or equal to minus 4. So this means our x is greater than 12 and at the same time it is less than minus 4. It is not possible. There is no real number, there is no such a real number which is uh, greater than uh, 12, that means it is a positive, and it is uh, less than minus 4, that means it is a negative. Not possible. So, the only possible thing is x less than or equal to 10 and x is greater than or equal to minus 4. That means the number, uh, the value lies between minus 4 to 12. So, this is the case, this is the interval in which our function will be decreasing okay so this is all about function increasing and decreasing for this function now the next example is uh, f of x is equal to 2x cube minus 15x square minus 144x minus 7 again we have to think of strictly increasing and strictly decreasing so take the first uh, derivative take 6 common factorize it you get these factors now first case f is strictly increasing so f dash of x is greater than 0 strictly increasing so greater than 0 so this is greater than 0 so the product of two factors is greater than 0 when both are positive or both are negative now the both are positive means x is greater than 8 and x is greater than minus 3 okay x is greater than 8 and x is greater than minus 3 and the second case x is less than 8 or and x is less than minus 3. So the first case, what else is that we want a real number which is greater than 8 as well as which is greater than minus 3. Now every number which is greater than 8 is greater than minus 3. So we get x greater than 8. And in second case, x less than 8 and x less than minus 3. We want a real number which is less than minus 3 and at the same time which is less than 8. So we conclude that x is less than minus 3. Every number which is less than minus 3 is also less than 8. So function is strictly increasing when x is less than minus 3 or x is greater than 8. Now let us think of strictly decreasing if f dash of x is less than 0. So the product of the two factors is less than 0 means 
both one of them must be negative one of them is it's negative other is positive so if we do this if you uh, we get the inequalities as x is greater than 8 and x is less than minus 3 so there is a real number which is greater than 8 means positive and which is less than minus 3 that means it is negative there doesn't exist any number which is positive as well as negative so this is not true so what is the true x less than 8 and x greater than minus 3 that means the x lies between minus 3 to 8 i will com combine these two inequalities minus 3 less than x x less than 8 so this is the interval where the function is strictly decreasing the next example is f of x is equal to x upon x square plus 1 again we have to think of strictly increasing or strictly decreasing take the function now here we have to use the quotient rule to find the derivative of the function for quotient rule square of the denominator in numerator denominator as it is numerator's derivative minus numerator as it is denominator's derivative so after simplifying you get 1 minus x square upon x square plus 1 bracket square this is the derivative now when we see that function is strictly increasing the derivative must be greater than 0 so 1 minus x square upon x square plus 1 is greater than 0 that is if 1 minus x square is greater than 0 so x square plus 1 bracket square is greater than 0 okay so x square is less than 1 from this we conclude that x square is less than 1 now x square less than 1 so what are the numbers whose square is less than 1 the number must be minus 1 to plus 1 minus 1 less than x less than 1 this is the set where the function is strictly increasing now strictly decreasing for that f dash of x is less than 0 so 1 minus x square is less than 0 so x square is greater than 1 so all what are the numbers those uh, squares of them is greater than 1 so we have to remove this uh, minus 1 to plus 1 okay x greater than 1 or x less than minus 1 that means from minus infinity to minus 1 this one set or from 1 to infinity is the another set so this is the solution the seventh example f of x is equal to 3x plus 1 upon 3x is increasing in uh, open interval 1 by 3 to 1 and decreasing in 1 by 9 to 1 we have to show that okay in these are the intervals where the function is increasing or decreasing so let the given function differentiate with, with respect to x we get the derivative 3 minus 1 upon uh, 3x squared so for increasing s uh, let suppose this x belongs to this given interval okay i don't know whether it is correct or not but suppose it is it lies in this interval so mine x 1 upon 3 is less than x is less than 1 so what we will do we will convert it into the derivative so taking the squaring squaring both the sides so what you get 1 upon 9 is less than x square is less than 1 now multiply this equation by 3 you get 1 upon 3 less than 3 x square is less than 3 now here is 1 upon 3x square so take the reciprocal of this inequality what you will get you get 3 is greater than 1 upon 3x square is greater than 1 upon 3 now there is my one minus sign so multiply this inequality by minus minus 3 less than minus 1 upon 1 upon 3x square is less than minus 1 upon 3 then here is plus 3 so add 3 to this inequality throughout okay so what is the given in this it is our derivative it is our derivative that is f dash of x so our f dash of x is lies between 0 to 8 by 3 that means f dash of x is greater than 0 for every x belongs to this 1 upon 3 to 1 so the function is strictly increasing in this interval okay for decreasing again we will take x belongs to the interval so 1 upon 9 is less than x is less than 1 upon 3 Mm, taking the square 1 upon 81 is less than x square is less than 1 upon 9 then multiplying by 3 okay 
taking the reciprocal multiplied by minus one, then adding three to throughout this inequality, you get minus 24 is less than fraction of x is less than zero. That means your derivative is less than zero for whenever your x belongs to this one upon nine and one upon three. So the function is decreasing. So we have shown that the function is strictly increasing in this interval and function is decreasing in open interval 1 upon 9 to 1 upon 3. Now to show that f of x is equal to x minus cos x is increasing for all x. Uh, whichever value x or uh, value for of x you will take, this function is increasing. We have to prove. How to prove? Again, take the function f of x differentiate with respect to x. What is the derivative of x minus cos x? It is one minus of minus sin x. That is one plus sin x is the derivative. Now, we know that the sin function is a bounded. Sin always takes the values between minus one to plus one. If you choose any real number x, the value of sin x always lies between minus one to plus one. So add throughout one, we get zero less than or equal to one plus sine x is less than or equal to two. Okay, but this one plus sine x is nothing but f dash of x. So f dash of x lies between zero to two. That means we can conclude that f dash of x is always greater than or equal to zero for every x belongs to R. And hence f is increasing for all x. So so these are the examples uh, on increasing and decreasing part of the applications of derivatives. Now we will stop here.